So my name is Brian O'Hara, B-R-I-A-N-O apostrophe H-A-R-A. I'm the Minneapolis Police Chief. I'm Dewana Witt, D-A-W-A-N-N-A-W-I-T-T, Hennepin County Sheriff. So thank you all for being out here. We want you to understand that there's limited information that we can provide you because there's an ongoing investigation. So please uh, respect that, that we'll tell you what we can. We want to, we would rather have accurate information getting out to you rather than any false narratives just for the sake of being quick with information, okay? So with that being said, there was, there was an investigation that started here early this morning, which led to a barricaded subject and, and negotiations were going on for hours. There were multiple agencies involved in this incident. And with that being said, um, the subject, um, who was the, the target in here, was, was shot um, and succumbed to his, his injuries. There was another uh, person in the home who has been taken to the hospital for medical care. And I don't know if there's anything more that we can add to that other than this is an ongoing investigation. We're limited again to how much information we can provide. Um, I can tell you that this was a case involving an armed subject, not an unarmed, but armed. Just uh, some may be aware this person, uh, during the course of this incident, which went on for several hours, this person was on uh, social media uh, videotaping uh, what was happening from inside the residence live. Um, so that does exist. Um, and uh, clearly, uh, even from his own uh, social media, this, this person was armed during this incident. Uh, and uh, this is being investigated uh, by federal law enforcement as a federal uh, law enforcement officer involved shooting. Uh, I can confirm that there were no Minneapolis police officers involved in any use of force incident here today. Uh, but the Minneapolis police was present uh, on the periphery, uh, assisting, uh, controlling the scene. So it was the FBI trying to... This was an FBI investigation, yes. So, so an FBI warrant. has been shot. Search warrant service? This, yes, yes. This, this is a federal law enforcement investigation. The FBI is present. The FBI will be making a statement. Uh, and the FBI, uh, in, I believe it's their inspections division, are conducting uh, an investigation into the use of force. Was it an FBI agent who fired the shot? Yes, I believe so, yes. And it was It there... was definitely not a Minneapolis police officer. And it was um, a warrant? That it was a were... search warrant here. That they yes. were trying to serve on that yes. person? Yes, for okay. several hours. Yeah, they were here hours. since about 5 o'clock okay. this morning. Okay. And... Is that true for Hennepin County? Nobody involved in the shooting or, or do you know? The Hennepin County Sheriff's Office was involved in the incident. I can confirm that we were um, not the agency that used um, uh, deadly force, but yes, we were involved with the use of force in this incident. Was this by a sniper, perhaps? Don't know. We don't have that information, no. Were they wearing body cameras? I don't have that information. Minneapolis Police, yes. I know you guys But I do not, I don't believe, uh, we haven't reviewed our cameras, just simply from where our officers were. I don't believe our cameras would have captured. Will you be releasing any other footage? From if we have something that is relevant, and if it uh, and if it does not jeopardize, you know, the federal law enforcement review, we absolutely would. Do you know but that's name? something I do not. Uh, but that's something that we would do, you know, it, speaking with the FBI and the U.S. Attorney's Office before we do it. But just from where, just from where our officers were, I, I don't think it's likely. Do you know what type of warrant it was? Uh, I cannot confirm that. I haven't seen the warrant myself. Was it was a male. And was it a female, the other person in the house who was taken to the hospital? There was a female that was taken to the hospital for a medical. She was not injured. Was I'm sorry? Was it a relative? I do not know. Don't know the relation. Do yeah, you know why she was put in handcuffs? I don't know. I don't know if that's true. And, and I, I, I have no information about that. Yeah. Thank you. To be clear, was one federal agent who I do not know that. I do not know that. No. So with that being said, that's all the information that we can have. And again, we have to be very careful with what information we release when there's an ongoing investigation involving multiple agencies. We prefer to get it right. That is our goal, to get it right and make sure that we are disseminating accurate information. So thank you for your time, and that's all we have from here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I'm a mess. Right? I'm old. Susie, you're the only one that could fit in there. I wasn't rolling, but you can get
yet. You okay. never know. I was trying to make sure at one point this wasn't falling over.